doesn't do something to make him think twice about missing shots and falling off. There it is. There it is. Second knockdown score. I think these first couple rounds are crucial for Via. Saying Navarrete is the perfect style for us. Yes, <laughs> they were overly confident. Oh. Oh, he's trying to change the rhythm up with his punches. Oh! oh! And the uppercut scores Three, the knockdown four, here in round one. Five. Make sure he makes him pay because he's lunging with his shots. You know, and most of the time, that's a great point. Navarrete put him in that position. He got him used to the hook. He was throwing the hook, and then he just changed the changed the angle of the punch. Came right up the middle. He knew it was going to be there. That was set up. Mm. Power of left hands. <laughs> Got to be perfect. Nothing perfect about the other guy, and he doesn't care, but it's tough to be perfect every step of the way. Well, not slicker than Villa. I think he gives not red. The question is, when you make him, can you recover? And that's what we're trying to see if Villa can recover from that uppercut. These two are now fighting for here tonight. Going to take a short break. Come back to Vegas in a moment. I'm not. I'm unsure at the moment. Look like the left right there, but great job right there from... Which is, which is boxed beautifully. Excuse me, the first round. Not ready. For any offense, Via needs to take advantage of makes mistakes. He says, "Listen, he's long. The length of his arms gives him certain offensive advantages. Making a miss, and then occasionally making him pay. Via cannot afford to stay still right now. One, two, get out the ring. Trying to get into that rhythm with the jab now. Coming to the end of three, world title on the line. He possibly get ready for Navarrete. I mean, a boxing match would be for their team, and I didn't quite see it like that. He what he needs to do is just don't get too greedy. Boom, boom." Two punch combination and move. Two punch combination and move. I understand that. He don't mind missing shots. If Via doesn't do something to make him think twice about missing shots and falling off, there it is. There it is. Second knockdown scored. It comes here four, in round four. Five. He had never been knocked down prior to this. And now two times in four rounds when he's fighting for a world championship. There's that left uppercut again. Via's hurt. Trying to become a two-division world champion, Emmanuel Neparete. Mauling on the inside, looking for a right uppercut that time. Via still seemingly affected. We'll take a short break and show you that knockdown. Don't go anywhere. What's tough about Emmanuel Neparete, he's awkward, but it's effective. He is so much fun to watch. By the way, we told you nobody throws more power punches in this division. With a big shot from Navarrete. Navarrete looking for that left uppercut again. Via just can't keep him off of him. Nope. As Navarrete said would be the case. There's work on the inside. Let's check in with Bernardo. He's got the quick enough feet to get into range. You know, I think they got a different, different uh, rude awakening. I said someone was going to get exposed tonight. And right now it's Via getting exposed. Who knows he's it. Comes into the fighter meetings. With, he said by the end of round five, I will have my arm raised. That's we are in said. round five. Yeah. Title against the world champion. And then oh when he beat him down in the rematch. Jumped good. up in the air. <laughs> He's feeling good, Tim. And I think the upper is going to be the shot. Navarrete they said, how, how are he going to stop me? Because he had no punching power. It's exactly what he said. He will feel the bricks in my hands. And Via has. It's always easier said than done. Mm -hmm. got a little bit of nasty in him that we keep seeing more and more of. To make it difficult for him to catch him. That's exactly what he said in the fight of me. Whoa, oh, body, body shot. shot. Look at that. Lunging in with that shot right there. That's the Most shot he's still <laughs> looking for, Tim. He's still looking for the uppercut. He is. He's, he's trying to, to occupy Via with shots to the head. Oh. Manuel Navarrete in complete control here. Dang. Football and then settle <laughs> in and you don't even have to pay for Lomachenko and Lopez. Stop. Arrete, who is Emmanuel's cousin, and his trainer said, look, we knew that at some point he was either going to run or fight. This is an awkward, awkward fighter. Now, fight him in his position to be able to land his shots, and then he comes back up. You know, he's doing a lot of confusing things in there. Moments ago, we saw that forearm. <laughs> on cruise control, and he's been on cruise control this whole fight, even though he's done the kind of damage that he's done. Yeah, I'd like to see Via be more assertive, and I'm... It's part of the reason because... He's letting his hands go. Just like that. 
Much better round for Ruben Villa. Nito Donaire, and now the bantamweight champion of the world will be with us. So my biggest takeaway right now for Navarrete. I think he's kind of fallen asleep the last couple rounds. The shot right there. This experience, I think with his boxing ability, he got punching power in both hands. I think he has the punching power that can hurt a guy like Navarrete. Windmill right hand uppercuts that basically starts below the hip and, and so throw a punch end up switch hitting he'll be squared up there are no rules except throw punches well Tess he's landing the right shot blinks and he's on the canvas so that has him a little shook you know to not open up with his full offensive arsenal mm. Tim. He breaks every Tim. every yes. rule Tim. in boxing, man. Yes, I have a, those guys. Just he has an ugly style. Just ugly. Good right hand from Navarrete. Champion. Six minutes away from that reality, if he can stay the course. Territory for Villa. He's never been in an 11 round in the game today because it's hard to lift a belt from from a from an established champion. And I know this this belt is vacant here, but you know Navarrete didn't lose his belt in the junior featherweight division. He he willfully moved up. And as we've talked about, there's been more and more belief with some fire to do it. And he wants that kind of a fight. That's what's crazy. He told, he told us, us that. In no uncertain terms, he said, I want to get hurt. I want I want that kind of fight. So <laughs> when you're dealing with a guy with... And he brought that up. He goes, that's the kind of fight I want to be in. By Baranchek Zapata. Left uppercut again. Twelfth and final round will be coming up when we return. Anything can happen in boxing, but when he goes back, he's gonna see so many opportunities. Now, but aren't they still trying to land that left up? He loves pulling the trigger on that left uppercut, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He takes that dip. It comes from down near the knee, and it's got. I, I described it as being like a. I need to ask him who taught you how to throw that punch like that. I wonder sometimes when I watch him how much teaching was really going on in the gym. <laughs> this is just I didn't want to ins say it, no. instinct. That's why I respect it because he, he's crafted a style, become a two-division world champion. You got to respect that. How do you train for a guy? You I mean, what, kind of sparring, what kind of sparring partner you, 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 you got to acknowledge that body like we saw Bia do a couple times. It's not going to do it against Navarrete. Boy, things change once you experience Emmanuel Navarrete as we come to the finish line of our world championship fight. And new WBO featherweight champion of the world, Emmanuel Vaquero Navarrete.